one hour to engage with you guys and cut up a few logs. So we're going to get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I got to get out of here. It's Friday, 3.30 and I'm out of here with or without you, with or without the logs cut up. Going to put some red anchor seal on the ends. We use the red, we have blue, and we have green, and we use them for different species, hardwood, softwood, and then oaks, white oaks are blue. The medium um, hardwoods are red, and then the green is pop. So we'll get it sealed up here real quick. Don't got to worry about going all the way to the inside, outside. I'm going to cut this up into a cant and make a, either inch and a half or two inch wide stuff, or thick stuff, I don't know yet. Depends on what the log is going to give me. This stuff works good, boy. You get in your clothes, you got to wash them three or four times before you get it off of there, if it comes off. So. All right, we're going to time lapse this one right here, and then we're going to get to the beech nut tree that's over there for our second test of the 10 degree blade. We've already done one maple, but I want to go ahead and get both maples out of the way. And then we'll jump over to the beech nut. So, and hopefully we can get them done in an hour. We'll find out. We've been using the 10 degree blade now for about nine months on um, cherry, oak, walnut, uh, hard maple, and beech nut. And so far, I've been very happy with the blade. It does tend to help us speed up the cutting. And it seems to last quite a while compared to using the Turbo 7 on mild hardwood. So, so far we've been very happy. nice boards um, wasn't sure exactly what I was going to get out of it but uh, about six six and seven eighths 
out of it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, one and a half by six and seven eighths uh, boards. Nice, clean, straight, good grain, no major knots or defects. So that came out pretty nice. I got a bunch of sideboards over here. Um, the off side cuts with live edges on each side. I'll go stack those over there. Next is the beech nut. So we're going to get the beech nut on there and uh, do a time lapse through that. And then we're gonna, we'll be able to compare uh, the, the cuts. Uh, with the 10 degree um, blade so I did speed it up a little bit and it seems like it's cutting a lot better a lot a lot smoother um, when I changed the belt the main drive belt on this um, for some reason it was like it was too short or it was really hard to get to get on there even with it all the all the linkages all the way down so what happened was it changed the motor speed and I'm not getting all the speed out of the motor like I used to uh, they sent me a second belt and it wasn't much better so i don't really know what the deal was with that but it, it works in you know, that belt will stretch um, and i could loosen up the nut and adjust the motor speed but i don't want to get in too big a hurry no sense in burning through blades and, and tearing stuff up so let me get this mess cleaned up and then i'll get that beach nut uh, back on here Since the time that we've been using the 10 degree, we've also tried out the 9 degree. The 9 degree cuts a lot uh, slower, but does a little better job as far as a finished cut. I think I prefer the 10 degree over the 9 degree personally. It seemed like it did a lot better on oak, beech nut, hard maple, etc. just went off for 3.30. Made it just in time. Now what I've done here is I brought the maple back. This is the beach. The one that has the big gap and has a lot of reaction in it. This is typical. We put bricks on it. We put weight on it. Let me stick them. Now let me get this cleaned off real quick. And we'll take a peek at it. And you guys can be the judge compared to what you're used to cutting with and what your lumber looks like after using the blades that you put on it. I'll try to do my best to get close enough so you can actually tell. This one has a little live edge on it, so let me flip it over. Should have probably done that before I swept it off. Wouldn't that have been a smart thing to do? Jesus, help me. It's Friday, guys. 
and I'm ready to get the heck out of here. This is going to be a hunting weekend. I haven't done much hunting, but it's going to be go get it done. If I can get two each day, I'm going for it. Fill the freezer. Yeah, I'm hitting the woods, and I'm even going to bring my climber and go to my special spot where I know the does are running. I've seen a couple in the back field. I could have rifled them down, but ah, I didn't feel like it that day. But this weekend's go get it day. So look, guys, I'll try to do a good. I think that's a good video right there. That sun shining on it. You can kind of see how that blade is finishing. This being beech nut. This being the maple. And you be the judge as to how you think that blade did compared to maybe the blades that you're using. Um, it's hard to say. Um, here's my alarm again. I think it's a little smoother. Of course, without being here in person, you know, it's really hard to, even a camera doesn't show you at all. But, uh, but this maple had some different stuff in it. Look at this crazy stuff right here. It didn't have a lot of the ambrosia like I thought it was going to have it. It had these little streaks, so that's kind of neat, you know. It's kind of neat when a tree gives you something different than you used to. Let me turn that noisy sucker off. So anyways, that was just a quick time lapse on both of them. A uh, comparison um, with this blade versus, say, the... Um, actually, you know what? I got... Let's go over here, guys. Let's take a quick walk right over here past the tractor. I'll bounce you around a little bit. We'll just pretend we're walking. See, I just, now the GoPro may straighten it out. My bouncing may not show up in the GoPro. But here is the gum that I cut. And see, that looks a lot smoother. There's a couple spots right here. And that blade I used on there was the uh, nine degree hardwood blade. So, is it really worth the 10, the 10 degree? I mean, do you really gain anything? It sure seems to me that the, 10, the 9 degree cut a heck of a lot smoother. Of course, this is a different lumber. It's, it's, it's gum. Gum cuts pretty good, actually, when it's wet. So, I don't know, guys. You guys have to tell me what you think. But I'm done. I'm burnt. And I'm done. And I got some deer to go get, so... Anyways, it's not as really spalty as I thought, but I like these little streaks in it. So there's a little bit here. Little, 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 little teeny bit right in here of the ambrosia. It's all good. It's all good. So anyways. Woo. Man. It was a long week. It actually warmed up kind of nice. It was in the 20, high 20s this morning, but now it's like in the 50s, high 50s, so. That's good old Virginia weather for you. <laughs> so anyways, y'all be blessed. Till you see you next time, please like and subscribe. I need you guys. I need you. You make my day. I need you to need me. How you like that? Anyways, be blessed.